an unexpected attraction in the Bronx, a peacock right there. His name is Raul, by the way, decided to escape the zoo. And since last night, it appears to have made a new home in a tree in the West Farm section. This morning, we are learning or working to learn at least how the zoo plans on getting the bird back because asking it nicely hasn't seemed to work. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Hugh is on Bird Watch live in the Bronx. And you know, Janice, it is mating season, and I'm wondering if your friend Raul up in the tree there isn't looking for a little friend. Oh, maybe so. I hope he stays up there for a little bit, though, maybe until he goes back to his home at the Bronx Zoo. And he's certainly been welcomed by people in this neighborhood. That name Raul was actually given to him by members of this community. And he's up in that tree right now. Take a look. It is a little dark, but there is a light on it. So hopefully you can see you can see his head uh, peeking out right there. And of course, you can't miss those feathers uh, draping down over the branch there. Uh, the zoo actually says the Bronx Zoo, that is that there are hundreds of peacocks on its property and they wander freely and that they roost in the trees at night. So that's exactly why uh, Raul is up there tonight. And as you can imagine, the unusual sight of a peacock in a tree in the Bronx has caused quite the stir. Many people were here last night to take a look at this beautiful bird. I was actually watching some of the videos posted on the Citizen app and people were jokingly saying uh, Raul is now a member of this community. Uh, the bird managed to evade police police and the FDNY to avoid capture. But let's be honest, trying to capture a bird with five foot long feathers likely isn't something first responders are exactly accustomed to doing. And Raul has unfortunately committed a bit of a crime as well. He allegedly pecked at a man last night as that man was trying to catch it and help it. The victim, Mike, says it happened as he was trying to keep it safe. Then it just started running up the hill towards traffic, so you know, we had to try to keep the birds safe. Right. You know, uh, we chased them all the way in. I trapped them inside the gate. He got tied it in the gate, and then he tried to pet me and said, grab my pants. I was like, oh, then the flew in the tree. Luckily, he wasn't uh, seriously injured. FDNY says that the man had minor injuries. Taking another look at the peacock's face here. Um, he's been kind of turning his face around. Maybe he's a little camera shy, but you're getting a good look at the beautiful bird here. Now, of course, the next step is for the Bronx Zoo to come and take Raul back to his home. Who knows? Maybe he has a different name. We've just been calling him the wrong name this entire day. Um, but we're not sure exactly when or how the Bronx Zoo plans on doing that because, you know, as I told you, firefighters as well as uh, the NYPD have tried to get Raul down from the tree and back to his home, but that hasn't happened. So we'll bring you any updates as we get them.